Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's a very important. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 8 And when he, Jesus, had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. So time is still going on. Time is still going on the earth. Here's a half hour of silence. Nothing's being said. There was space, I mean, about the space of a half an hour, there was silence in heaven. Uh, the beast thing ain't uh, praising God the elders ain't praising God no one's saying a word the great tribulation raiment that have been called up to heaven are not saying nothing and I saw the seven angels which stood before God another seven of all the angels here's seven which stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets so they didn't have them before now they're given seven trumpets, seven angels. <clears throat> and another angel came and stood at the altar. Remember the pattern that was given to Moses? Moses saw heaven like John. And what they saw in the tabernacle and in the temple is there in heaven had a golden censer so this would be the incense altar in the holy place and there was given unto him much incense so study incense and it will show you prayers because that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which is before the throne well, where was that golden altar in the most holy? I mean, in the holy place, right before the veil, or possibly Hebrews said in the most holy place. And what was in that most holy place? Well, guess what? The mercy seat of God, and what was around God but two cherubims. So when you study the tabernacle, that Old Testament dusty stuff, the Old Testament, that's yet to be and people who study their Bible and read their Bible as the Bible said we're go you're gonna to get to heaven if, if you read your Bible you'll be like wow there it is and there are gonna be some people who don't read their Bible who are worldly Christian they'll get up to oh what's that <laughs> and they'll proclaim their Bible ignorance that they've not studied And when you see this golden incense, this golden altar of this incense is being offered to prayers of the saint, you might even think of going back to Luke chapter one with the foretelling of John the Baptist to be born, and then with after that the foretelling of the babe Jesus Christ to be born. Because when John the Baptist's dad went into that holy place to offer that incense. The people were outside praying. And since the Bible says we are priests, unlike the Catholic organization, what is your priestly function today? It's not to bring it's not to bring a, a, a animal 
Jesus Christ already said it, it's to pray for each other. Paul, always, I pray for you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for this. Pray without ceasing. <coughs> and that was all taken from the from the brazen altar that pictured hell to remind us that we came from hell. The golden altar, which is before the throne. And in the line out of that tabernacle, well, what was before the throne is the mercy seat. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God, right into God, right in front of God, out of the angel's hand. So your prayers as the incense, as this golden altar, goes up before God. The Bible says that Jesus, who's seated at the right hand of the Father, is praying for us. The, the, the third member of the Trinity, the, the Holy Spirit, makes groanings and intercessions for us, which is God. And then when you pray, God is surrounded by the prayer and the active prayer of the Son and this Holy Spirit before him. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings. Now we saw that at the throne. And when you go back to chapter 4, uh, where was that? They marked it. Five, four, five, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices. And were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits. And we saw that seven spirits is the Holy Spirit, is Jesus Christ. Friend, we ought not be lifting up smoke to God, but the incense of our prayers. We have enough to bring that incense smoke up to God rather than other foreign smoke into God's nose. And according to Ezekiel 28, when you look at cigars and cigarettes and all that, that's a realm of Satan. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunders and lightnings and an earthquake. Well, this is going to be one of the few earthquakes that's going to happen in the tribulation period. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Okay, here we go. The seals are done. Now, when you read the Bible like this, you're not to think, okay, the seals are done, now we move to the trumpets. And I'm not going to say exactly how I know, but the seals and the trumpets do line up with each other. You don't go see seventh seal, and now the first trumpet, second trumpet, third trumpet, bum, 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 bum. The seals are laid out, and in between those seals, the trumpets are being laid out and being played. What God has done in the book of Revelation, he, he's, he's put it in the classification. Okay, here's the seal. Now here's the trumpets. And we'll talk about vial, the, the vials and the woes. The first angel sounded. And there was hail and fire mingled with blood. I was like, have that fall on you. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees were burnt up. And all green grass was burnt up. So man says, save the trees. God says, okay, I'll just burn it up. Hail destroyed the crops of Egypt. Fire and lightning ran along the ground. So again, we have another historical event that's now present in the tribulation period. All the wonders that God did unto Pharaoh and his people 
before the nation of Israel. It's going to happen again. So the Pharaoh in Exodus is a type of Antichrist in the tribulation period. Isn't that interesting? So man says save the trees. God says one third of the trees are going bye-bye. And the grass. I was just telling my wife the other day, she's driving through Florida, every fifth, every fifth truck. Is somebody has got a trail on it with a landscaping business. All that money, all, I, I should have looked it up. I didn't. I apologize. I like to see how much money is spent in America for their grass. And God says a third of it is going to burn up. You got 30 people on your street and they got nice grass. A third of that, 10 properties, 10 people, their grass is going to go bye bye. That's the ratio. So what's God say about trees? Well, they're going to burn up a third of them. So you got three trees in your yard, one of them's going to die. And the second angel sounded. And as it were, a great mountain burning with fire, volcano, was cast into the sea. And a third part of the sea became blood water turned to blood can't drink blood became blood not a type of blood not a color of blood every once in a while I'll, I'll see this this picture on Facebook come up they show that this part of this water is red that's not Bible if you're trying to say we're in the end days and all that it said blood became blood God knows what blood is he made it now where is this blood going to come from did you read the horses I didn't need to tell me that that's the Holy Ghost there's wars coming there is a, a horse that said people are going to kill each other outside of the war this mountain this volcano is going to kill people blood the second angel sounded as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea uh, and I guess it is whatever the, the, this place is whatever happened it's a volcano that devours itself and ends up in the water that's what I can assume I could be wrong third part of creatures save the whales down here in Florida save the turtles you can't do nothing with lights along the beach because the poor turtles won't be able to find their way back out to sea after laying eggs. Here God says, third part of creatures which were in the seas and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed. So that's probably one, another part where the blood's going to come from. Noah saved the trees, plant the grass, save the whales, save the manatees, save the turtles. You can't fish too much, and God says a third of them are going bye-bye in the tribulation period. Angel, blow that trumpet. And then ships. And don't say if it's military ships, commercial ships. This says a third part of the ships. One third of the navies. Now, I'm cooling all the ships in the world are going to go bye-bye. Now, I would assume that this would be probably the Mediterranean Sea, most of all. Cast into the sea. Because everything doesn't focus around America. It focuses around Israel. And the third angel sounded. Aren't you glad you're waiting for one Trump? Don't you think these people on earth, you know, they're going to keep hearing these trumpets and they know that at least by the third one, trouble's going to come. And there fell a great star. Now get this one. There fell a great star from heaven. A meteorite is going to hit the earth. We have reports of a scientist that a meteorite, XYZ, is going to come within a million miles of the earth. And we're all going to have to die according to news reports. Oh, it went by us. What happened? Oh, we'll have to find another news story. 
I'm going to show you that they're right. There is a meteorite coming. A great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp. <laughs> Put that with verse... Uh, well, we read in chapter 4, verse 5. Burning as it were a lamp. And it fell into the mist. It fell upon the third part of the rivers. Not the sea, the rivers. And upon the fountains of water. This is drinking source water. A meteorite crashes into the earth, a star. And the name of this star is called Wormwood. I would get out my, my books and then find out, is there any star out there named by the scientists that they may not know of or have given a name of Wormwood? Or is it still unknown by man? Psalms 147, 147.4 says God knows the name of all the stars. One of them is called Wormwood. And a third part of waters, save the water, became, one, became wormwood. That's very hard to say. It's a bitter plant medicine for stomach and strength. It's bitter. And many men died of waters because they were made bitter. Here we got a report that a meteorite is coming to the earth. The earth is doomed. We're always going to die. Mankind is finished. The earth will be done. No, the Bible says many men, not all. So next time you hear that that meteorite that's going to crash into the earth or pass a million miles beyond the earth, miss its path, is going to destroy all of planet earth, remember Revelation 8, 11 says many men are going to die, not all. It's not going to destroy the earth. You have Bible recorded scripture that the earth will not be destroyed by a meteorite. But one will do damage. How's that? So type in your comments when you see that thing coming. Revelation 8, 11, let them go find it for themselves. Many is not all. Because it's kind of funny because if the earth gets destroyed by that meteorite, and the fourth angel sound in the third part of the... Wait a minute. We're still going on with the trumpets. It has not stopped the trumpets. Imagine God destroying the entire earth and mankind with a meteorite, and he's still blowing the trumpets. No. And so, men die by drinking bitter water. Men die by not being able to drink water. Jesus said, I'm the water of life. It, uh, Egypt could not drink the water because it was blood. Then the stupid magicians come in and make it even worse with bloody water. Why should you drink something that God created and you say a big bang happened? Here's your big bang. Here's your big thing that causes everybody, it causes bitterness. You don't want. You did not want to listen to the hundred forty-four thousand. You didn't want to at least listen to the Bible preachers that God sent during the church age. Well, God is removing His blessings. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten. How I don't know. And the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. Revelation 12 says a third part of the stars were cast to the earth. This may be when Revelation 12 happens, the fourth trumpet. The third part of the stars, and so as the third part of them was darkened. So that big sun one day, you're going to be laying your body out in front of it. And it's just going to shrink or something. Maybe have a hole. But it will only give two-thirds light. That moon that shines bright in the sky is only going to be two-thirds as bright. The stars that you see, you're only going to see two-thirds of them. Now watch this. 
and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. Time is messed up by one third. The fourth trumpet brings a third of the sun, the third of the stars, and the third of the moon, and the third of time messed up. Now let's go back to 617. No, oh, 6. Let's see. 612. Now there is a difference between the fifth seal and the. And what number trumpet were we at? The fourth trumpet. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. This is later on. We're towards the end near the seventh seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake. Well, we've already seen another earthquake with the trumpet. So this would be a second earthquake. One at the beginning of the trumpets somewhere. And one at the end of the, close to the end of the seals. Two earthquakes. Because watch. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. This sun is not a third. The third of the sun is darkened sometime in the tribulation period. And when the sixth seal signs up and comes, two-thirds of that sun that is now completely dark, which is a full. One-third and the two-third here is the sun is gone. And the moon became blood. And the stars fell unto heaven. I mean, unto the earth, excuse me. So the sixth seal finishes off completely of what the fourth trumpet blows. You know why the sun is attacked? Because the sun is a major god of all mankind. Zeus, Baal. You know, with the Catholic Church, you know why they put the, the ring of light around their head? To worship the sun god. God is doing what he did to Egypt. He's attacking their gods. And do you remember in the book of Exodus what happened to the sun? It went dark. Only the children of Israel had light. A third part of it in the night, likewise. Now, I don't know how that's going to mess up a third of the day. You're not going to have as bright as light as you're going to have. But as far as hours, I don't know if it cuts the up. But Jesus said, for the elect's sake, time will be shortened. That looks like you'll be here at the fourth trumpet. It'll probably be like you'll get night or night sooner. Or... And, we, and, and doesn't it seem like it's doing that already? Doesn't it seem, unless it's because I'm old, it seems like time's going by quick. Can you imagine what it's going to feel like when you when you live in here now at the fourth trumpet? The day's gone already. It's interesting. So the sixth seal brings total. The fourth trumpet brings a third. And I beheld and heard an angel flying. Uh, he's flying. Do you really think they need wings? Let me ask you a question. Did not Jesus roundabout kind of way in Acts chapter 1 did he not kind of like fly to God to heaven when he was taken up so you trying to tell me that Jesus drew all of a sudden got wings you know I remember I was in grade school and I was, I, was, I was a little bit of a character me and a few boys in grade school and our teacher would yell at us saying I'll just say my name no one Styley Will you stop making those erasers flying through the air? You do it again, you're going to the principal's office. Uh, boys, I don't want to see one more spitball fly through the air. Stiley, I catch you flying down that hallway again. We're going to call your mother. Now, I'm sorry. My eraser, my spitballs... And myself, I don't have wings. Yet the word fly shown up many times when I was in grade school. And not once was there wings. An angel can fly without having wings. You ever see, you ever be going down the highway? Wow, that guy just flew by me. Where's the wings? 
through the mist of heaven. We're going, be, we're going to be doing that. Don't you know that Jesus said they are like the angels? Can you imagine us going through the sky? I mean, can you see Jesus coming back down and meeting the twelve, the eleven in the upper room? You know, he steps on the planet, he folds up his wings and walks right to the... No! He flew through the heavens to meet the disciples. He flew through the heavens and met them at the beach when they were fishing and didn't catch anything. We're going to be able to do that. Fly through the mist of, mist of heaven. Saying with a loud voice. Knowing the loud voices. Do you remember elsewhere in the Bible where there were loud voices that were imitations? The devils? That man that, that, that well the two men where Mark gives us a story of the one man. He's in amongst the tombs and no one could tell him. He spoke with a loud voice. That's an imitation of what goes on with the angels. So... And this is kind of a joke because a guy came up today, you know, confirming that, you know, I, I am not screaming. But anybody who does not like my loud voice here on earth proclaiming the gospel, they're not going to like the angels because they're loud. Got it? You think I'm loud? Imagine a holy angel with a loud voice. Whoa, 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 and he's not talking to a horse. We are now going to another series of troubles and problems. We've got the seals, we got the trumpet. Now we got three woes. If the seven trumpets weren't bad, bad enough, in between the, the seven trumpets, we're going to get three woes. And when God says, whoa, you better stop. You better stop, drop, and pray. To the inhabitants of the earth, mankind, by reason of the other voices of the trumpet. The voices of the trumpet. That's an interesting statement there. The trumpets have a voice. When those trumpets are blown, are they going to say something and not have a musical note? The voices, unless that's just, that could be poetic or that could be the way they describe the, the sound of a trumpet. But it's remarkable for me, it says the voices of the trumpet. Of the three angels, because we already had four, three more trumpets yet, which are yet to sound. we got three more trumpets, but with that... We've got now three woes. So, let's look at it like this so far. With just two problems. We've got, now, we've got one horse bringing in peace, which will end in war, which will have a famine, which will end with death and hell. We will have people who have been martyred for the word of God. The sun, the moon are going to go black. The stars are going to fall. Heaven is going to be sprawled up. Men are going to see Jesus Christ coming and they're going to run and hide. With that, we are going to have a uh, we're going to have an angel throwing the fire of incense down onto the earth where trees and grass are burnt up. We are going to have a mountain. It's going to explode or something into the sea in which a third of the sea creatures, a third of the ships are going to die and be destroyed. We are going to have this meteorite. It's finally going to hit earth and men are not going to be able to drink. Then we're going to have a third of the stars, a third of the moon, the third of the sun are going to go dark. It's going to mess up time. And we haven't even discussed three woes. We still got three more trumpets. And we haven't even got to the vials yet. And as the Bible says that the church is raptured before all this happened, what are we doing? We're praising and giving honor to God the Father. And Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. 
go in all the world and preach the gospel, the Bible says. 